Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. We are so excited because today we are packing, we are going on a road trip and we're taking a little staycation in Austin. It's gonna be my whole family and then Omar and I and Elena and it's gonna be so fun. We rented a house there. So basically today I'm just gonna be taking you guys with me as I pack and get ready to go. Right now I'm actually making lunch so I thought I would just start with that and then we'll move on with the rest of the day. I'm currently in the middle of making this um, Southwest chopped salad. I I was really inspired i was just looking through pinterest and i found this really good salad dressing idea it's basically like avocado cilantro a little bit of jalapeno lime olive oil greek yogurt it's like a creamy avocado cilantro lime dressing and it just sounds so good i'll put the recipe down below and then i wanted to make it kind of like a southwest um, theme so i have like some romaine cilantro cucumber red onion tomatoes corn and black beans i'm just gonna whip all of this together we are so excited to finally be going on a vacation. It's been so long and this is gonna be Elena's first trip. And you better believe I got her a little bikini. I got her a little mini like floaty. It's so cute. The house is gonna have a pool. So I'm just hoping the weather's gonna be like good enough. I'm hoping it's not like too cold or anything. But I mean, if it's too cold, then we'll just skip it. But maybe we'll just put it on there for a picture we're so excited to just be getting away for a little bit we're only going for like three nights so it's not gonna be anything too crazy we're just so tired of just being in our hometown just ready to get out and explore and do something fun we'll probably just be eating going and eating <laughs> that's basically probably all we'll do How beautiful does that look? I have the romaine underneath and all the toppings on top, so now I'm gonna move on to making the dressing. Somebody just woke up, and you guys look at our outfits today. We're matching tie-dye, it's so cute. She wants the camera. Oh my gosh. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna get back to cooking. I'm starving, oh my gosh. And also, it is the most stunning day today sky is so blue and it just makes me in such a good mood we went on a walk earlier and it just gave me so much energy are you gonna play in your activity center and are you gonna let me cook are you gonna let me <gasps> you want to show us your tooth you guys she got her first tooth you want to show us i don't think she's gonna be able to <laughs> i can barely even see it sometimes i have to feel it with my fingers here you go okay so play, play by yourself for a second, okay? I don't think we're gonna be able to do this, guys. All right, we busted out the handy dandy carrier. <laughs> she loves it. I haven't actually put her in this in probably like a couple months. So this is the baby Bjorn free. It's better for when they get bigger and everything, a little bit heavier. It's more support. <laughs> was very scared of the blender. I realized I forgot the lime juice. So let me taste it real fast and see if it needs anything else. Ooh. Mmm. I think it just needs the lime. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've never made this before. It just sounded good, but dang, that's so good. Wow. Well. I'm a chef. This is what the dressing wound up looking like. It has a little tiny, tiny kick from the uh, fourth of a jalapeno I put in there. It was a big jalapeno, but really good. It's so creamy. I added the Greek yogurt and the avocado, the lime. I may add a little bit more salt, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together. And I did make some chicken to go on top as well.
forgot that I was actually going to add um, quinoa to this. That would have been amazing. But it is so delicious, you guys. It's so creamy and like guilt free because there's literally, I mean, it's just like avocado, Greek yogurt. Highly recommend adding chicken to this. It's so delicious. You can add cheese if you wanted to. So good. So we're about to eat lunch. And then I'm going to finish packing and I'll show you guys what we're bringing. I'm in the middle of kind of putting together some stuff and trying to pick out my outfits for the trip. But um, I wanted to share with y'all some of the sandals that I just got in recently um, from Shein. I wanted to make sure that I got these in and tried them out before I shared them because i was worried about the quality they are actually really good quality for the price i think they're all under i mean i think they're all around 20 dollars uh, maybe one of i think this healed one is 30 super affordable like a lot of these are designer dupes like the bottega um trend i just feel like these are so adorable like this chunky braided one it's probably my favorite so beautiful and they're all super comfy so i will link all of my favorites that i found down below in the description box and they have even more i mean they have so many shoes and i just picked out my favorites so i'll have to figure out which ones match the outfits that i'm wearing i'm trying on some potential outfits for the trip i always like to try them on before i pack just so that i know if i'm gonna like it together and everything this one i just got this it's a mini dress, but I'm wearing it as a tunic. It's from um, Amazon, and I also got it in a really pretty blue color. I'll show you guys, but it has a really nice polka dot design. I just loved these frills. I just thought it was a really, really flattering top. I'm just wearing it with some white jeans, and then these white bow sandals. I need to do my toes. <laughs> that is the first option. I think it's really, really cute. I think I might change the jeans to like so my skinny jeans, these are a little bit too cropped for me. I feel like it's not very flattering. So I feel like I need, I just feel like I need them to be a little bit longer. Here it is in that blue color. I know you probably can't believe I'm wearing blue, but I feel like I'm channeling like grease or something. Recently, whenever I've been shopping for spring, I'm like, ooh, like the light blue and the white and the, I don't know. I just, I miss grease so much. Comment below if you saw my grease vlog. Here is the next option. I am absolutely obsessed with this top oh my gosh it's from a brand called lavish alice or pretty lavish oh my god i get those confused i think it's pretty lavish and i got suckered into an instagram ad <laughs> i picked up a couple of things this top is gorgeous it has these shoulder pads it has like a cowl neck detail but it's pretty it's still pretty like high neck so it wasn't like too low the sleeves are a little bit wide it's stunning. I just tucked it into a pair of jeans that I got from Express a while ago. And then these are those heeled braided sandals. This is definitely coming with me. It's so cute. Excuse the mess in the background. This is the last one that I have to share with y'all that I'm still deciding what I'm going to bring. I'll probably just show, show y'all what I'm wearing once I get there. But this is another one from Amazon that has so many good reviews. The only thing is I had to work with it a lot. So it's normally open down to here like a, v, like a wide v-neck. And it's also open in the back. So what I did is I got a size up. I think this is a large. I'll put it down in this description box, the exact size I got. So I was able to pin it closed since it had a little bit more fabric. The only thing is the back, I'm wearing a nude undershirt, but it looks like my skin. So I'm gonna have to find something maybe more similar, maybe white to just go under this. It is so beautiful. I love all the ruffles. I love the color. It's like a sage green, which is really on trend. It's like a really nice like leopard. The cut of it is so flattering. And I'm just wearing these sandals, which are very, they look very expensive, but they were super inexpensive. I have Elena's wardrobe sorted. So we're only staying the three full days. So we have three different cute outfits for her. And then I have a bunch of pajamas and comfy stuff for her as well. I'm so excited. So this is a dress that I literally bought when I was pregnant. <laughs> I got it from Zara and it's probably my favorite dress with the ruffles and the eyelet details and I'm so excited for her to wear it. I brought some nude leggings for her to wear with it just in case it gets chilly. I have a little velvet nude bow from Lulu and Company. And then these sunglasses, you guys. 
if you saw our reels that we did <laughs> with her you probably already saw these they're from amazon so cute this is from h&m i just got this recently and look how big it looks you guys i was like there's no way she's gonna fit in it so i went ahead and just put it on her today just to see and it fits her like literally perfectly which i'm glad but i'm just also sad because it just seems so big and then these little shoes are from etsy i think they're faux leather moccasins but they're only like $25 and they have so many colors. They're my favorite shoes and she doesn't wear shoes very often, but the last shoes that she had in this color, she grew out of. So I went ahead and got the bigger size so she'd have some cute shoes. And then I got some cute little headbands recently from Lulu and Company. I just love that brand. I've talked about them so many times. This is from a brand called Arabella and Rose and they're like an Australian brand. They have the most gorgeous little girl stuff so beautiful i literally got this when i was pregnant as well finally getting the chance for her to wear it and then these are some high knee socks from etsy and another velvet bow from lulu and company and then this you guys <laughs> i cannot tell you how excited i am oh she may not even swim honestly because i'm not sure if the pool is going to be warm enough but we may just put it on her for a picture anyways this is the most stunning little bikini from a brand called swim zip they make um, children's swimsuits and actually adult uh, rash guards and swimsuits as well they have some really cute ones here's the rash guard i got elena as well it's like this really pretty pink gingham so cute and then um this i am dead over this hat it's from janie and jack and it was so cute that's for photos and then this is for practicality it's a little swim hat that i also got from swim zip i'm bringing a bunch of the lulu and company pajamas some socks bibs some comfy clothes and her sleep sack and then i still need to pack like diapers wipes toys pacifiers i thought i'd just go ahead and mention this bracelet i put it on this morning and it's from amazon you guys they have all different letters i got my l initial it comes as a set and it's super inexpensive and it seems like pretty good quality i mean this is just the first day that i'm wearing it but i love it so i'll link this below too here is my travel beauty case i have all of my makeup in here and it looks like a mess so i'm just gonna show you guys kind of the main things i'm bringing for foundation slash like tinted moisturizer i'm bringing this it cosmetics cc cream it's spf 50 which i love and then on days that i feel like i don't really want that much coverage i'm gonna bring the complexion rescue by bare minerals and then i'm bringing just my usual stuff you guys i'm bringing the physician's formula butter bronzer i'm bringing my Fenty highlight. I'm bringing my new blush that I just got from Laura Mercier called Bellini. It's gonna be impossible for me to show you guys all this stuff. Also bringing this Eco Tools beauty sponge. It's called the Bio Blender, and it's a really good affordable makeup sponge. I've recommended the Amazon ones in the past, which I also love, but this one is really eco-friendly because you can actually compost it, so it will biodegrade. I love that, and it's really affordable. Oh, another thing I've recently discovered is the morphe setting spray oh my gosh it's a continuous spray it gives you this really fine even mist and it smells really good oh my gosh that's such a good one good morning last night elena was like awake and just kind of fussy and i felt bad just finishing packing while she was awake so i waited until she went to sleep to do all that so i finished packing last night we're just kind of well i finished getting everything together last night and i'm gonna just put it all in the suitcase today i thought i would just finish off showing you guys what i'm bringing as far as like my toiletries and beauty stuff here are all the skincare and toiletries that i'm bringing with me i thought i would just kind of go over them quickly so i'm actually bringing a bunch of tula i had a mini size of the sugar scrubs i'm gonna be bringing that as my exfoliator I have the cleanser in a mini size. I actually, I do like the cleanser. I just don't prefer the smell. That's why I never recommend the cleanser to you guys because I just feel like it's a little bit too strong of like a really clean smell. It's just, I like things that smell like a spa, like really relaxing and things like that. It's a good cleanser, but I'm just bringing it because I had a mini size. And then I love their sunscreen. I had discovered this when I was pregnant, but I was avoiding chemical sunscreens. I just kind of rediscovered it again and it is so good you guys it's kind of like a whipped 
formula. It goes on clear. It's really glowy. I'll try it on for you guys in a future vlog, maybe in the next one. I had a mini size of the Marula Oil by Drunk Elephant. So, and oh, then my Kiehl's moisturizer. I'm just going to bring that. For hair, I had a mini size of the uh, OGX coconut milk range and then my function of beauty hair care products. I I love using function of beauty I did a sponsorship with them probably a year ago I guess at this point and their stuff I just have used ever since I use their conditioner their shampoo and then this is their leave-in treatment and their serum So good. This is just some body wash. I put into another container. I have my each and every deodorant and then a mini toothpaste and I'm gonna pack my toothbrush. We're about to throw everything in the suitcase and I wish that most of this stuff was for Elena so that I could just blame it on her, but I have a whole bunch of stuff for just three days and Omar thinks it's gonna all fit in the big suitcase, like one big suitcase and I'm telling him like we're gonna need one more. But the thing is like, even if you're going for three days, like you need the same amount of things for three days versus going for like a week or two even, you just have like more or less clothes. So I don't feel like I overpacked, but you never know. So anyways, I guess I'll let you guys be the judge when you see how much stuff I have. About to load up the car we were able to fit all of our stuff mine omar and elena's stuff in this big bag somehow yeah, but we also have like but we also have like <laughs> the other <laughs> the other bags and for a some... three-day trip <laughs> listen okay i hey. need we have a baby now so i mean it was already bad before we had elena <laughs> yeah let's be real <laughs> all right let's go we're on our way to my parents' house, we're all gonna leave from there, and we are about 30 minutes late because. <laughs> and I, again, I wish we could blame it on Elena, but it was basically just because I forgot so many last minute things shoes, oh, snacks. I forgot a lot of stuff. Um, just so many things. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I'm still gonna be vlogging, but then it'll be in the next vlog. I'll just vlog our trip in Austin. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.